I'm preparing to paint on Mouse Hold Heath today and I've run out of <coughs> lemon yellow paint. People have been asking me how do I make my oil paint. <coughs> this is how. You need some binding medium which you need more that much and you always have to make sure that you add your pigment to your binding medium a bit at a time rather than having not enough binding medium and too much pigment. I need some lemon yellow today so I'm going to drop it into my bowl by the side of the binding medium try to not have it touching yet and I'm going to gradually introduce the lemon yellow into the binding medium <clears throat> I'm painting on Mousehold Heath as part of Paint Out Norwich 2015 and I've been having a really good time. It's really worth going for it, seeing if you can get in because it really stretches you. You have a lot of fun, you meet lots of really interesting people. Right, so I'm gradually bringing in all the, the medium. Now that's far too fluid. It, you could paint with this, but that's just not substantial enough for me. So you need, I build it up to a texture of something like toothpaste. Or a little bit firmer than toothpaste. So I've added some more I should be wearing a mask because of the tiny particles. I've added some more lemon yellow pigment. I get my pigment from Silenier and Cornelison and also Clearwell Caves in the Forest of Dean. Those are the, all the um, really good quality. You need good quality. That's why I make my own paint. It's for texture and pigment to get the best quality I can. I also do run workshops for children in which we make pigments out of natural fan materials. Right, I'm going to give this a good stir now. See, it's it's a bit thicker now. We, all the artists who take part in Paint Out Norwich, have been painting two or three paintings a day this week. On, oh, they will have been painting for three days in total. And the paintings will be shown at the Cathedral of Austria and then at the Madder, Madder Market Theatre. So everybody can, can come along and have a look at the results. We're all professional artists. We've been selected and come from far afield. Thing I would say coming to paint out Norwich is to if you're coming with a car do your research uh, beforehand because it can get very pricey when you're in a rush and you have to park in the city centre car parks. Make sure you bring everything with you so else you don't get stuck. 
very thin on the bowl, but when I scrape it out, it'll be enough for a pot. It mixes quite quickly, really. As long as it's in really fine powder. The pigments I've got from the forest of Dean, Dean, was actually hewn out of the caves, the Clearwell caves, from the rock. So it's really interesting, and anybody can go and buy their own pigment there. Quite pricey, but worth it. They do several warm, do an ochre. A yellow ochre and a red ochre, possibly another warm colour. <clears throat> add a little bit more but then I think it'll be all right. If you look it's it's really pasty on my <sighs> pestle and mortar, can't remember which it is now. Right. <clears throat> a little bit more should do it. Obviously it would take a long time if I had to renew all my paints in one day, but I try and not have one or two needing replacing at the same time. Right, to bring in that new powder that I just added, I push down all the other paint that's nearly ready and it will absorb the moisture. You need to wear gloves for this, for the clearing up part, really. And then, this is finally finished, and what I do is I just put it in a little pot and it, it would last for ages and ages and ages. But I just make enough for my needs for the next whatever, next few couple of sessions or a few sessions depending on what I'm doing. A good tip if you're just starting out doing plein air painting is um, go out with your colours already put out on your palette because um, it saves a lot of time if you can just set up ready as soon as you get there. Okay, there we are. I'll just start putting this into my pot. If you have a look, I just scrape it off like that. You need, you need a pestle and mortar, but you need a big bowl to make any um, useful size amount. Scraping this off, put it in my pot. Got some little plats, pots that I pick up really cheap, and also reuse pots when I can and they come my way. So I'll be using this yellow later on the heat, just checking that there's absolutely no solid bits left. And it's very smooth. Can you see? It's. I can't know if toothpaste is the best description, but that's how you want it. I'll put another bit in the pot. Show you. This is going to more or less fill the pot today for today's painting, so that's good. Thank you for watching. Bye. And you must come along to the exhibition. Bye.